Hi everybody, it's Kayla, and welcome back to Fixer Upper, the show where I usually attempt to fix up your houses, but today we attempt to fix what is potentially, oh god, the worst thing I have ever seen in my entire life. This is Judith Ward's mansion. Mansion is a strong word, it's more of a, um, blue suburban attempt, I'm gonna call it. It looks a little bit like a face. Like, do you get like these like eye and mustache vibes? Cause I do. I also put up spring decorations because I thought it would like help a little bit to distract from the face, but it doesn't. It just looks like my face is wearing like some questionable makeup, you know? But that's fine. Here's the house. As you can see from the outside, it is kind of a good shape. The back of it is, is wild. Oh, I'm, where am I? The back of it's a little bit much, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's super weird. It's a super weird house. I know what they were going for with this, but also like, what, I, you know? It's, and also, can I just point out the fact that like, this wall is shorter than this wall? And they're supposed to be symmetrical, so like, there's that. But anyway, when you first walk into the house, you have, ooh, knight statues, ooh, fancy marble flooring, ooh, ooh, double staircase, ooh, <gasps> long marble hallway, ooh, piano room. You know, over here there's like a living room, which is a little bit wild, but that's okay. And then <laughs> way across the whole house, we have another, ooh, long marble hallway, and then dining room area. What is that table doing there? And then we have a kitchen area, which is also kind of cute. And then in, oh. Okay, anyway, we have a kitchen area, which is kind of cute. And then you go up the stairs, where are they? And then you have big, ooh, marble hallway into like the masculine side. And then you have across the way, the feminine side. And it's kind of cute, like, and also she's got like a walk-in closet. She has a pretty bathroom. There is a toilet in this build, which is good. The toilet paper is kind of far away though, hmm. Okay, well anyway, and then there's like this vault area, which is kind of cute. You know, we have like a painting area where she, you know, paints her French girls. Uh, we have another walk-in closet and like this kind of darker area and the more masculine side. There's also like a more masculine office and bathroom and then feminine office and bathroom. I say masculine and feminine, I kind of just mean like darker and lighter, but like it's, I just, I, in my mind, I picture her and have like her having like a his and hers suite with her husband that she divorces every couple years. So like, you know, each new husband, she kind of just like shoves him over there and then like they live there for like a year and then she's like, okay sis. And then they, they have to leave cause she finds a new one. And like, you know, that's just the way it goes these days. But that's the whole house. It's definitely interesting. I like how, I kind of like the floor plan of the first floor, which is very unusual for me. Usually I hate them. I kind of like how open it is. I also kind of don't hate the upstairs, but I do want to change the way the whole build looks because the outside is significantly worse than the inside this time. But on that note, we're gonna go ahead and jump right on in to the renovation. Okay, so we are back and we are fixer uppering this house, but I don't even know if house is a word that I, I feel comfortable using. This place is just something else, okay? I think that this is one of my least favorite EA builds of all time. And I don't mean to drag it too much because like the effort was there. The shape, super cool. Like, the roofing, not even that bad. But, um, it could use some help, which I attempted to do. Uh, the furnishing I actually kind of liked. Like, I kept a lot of the interior the same, which is kind of cool. It's the outside that I, um, was, uh, uh, not so happy about. You know, there's, I call this house a face house. Because you might have noticed before, it used to have those two big circle windows in the front. And it looks like it's got, like, a little mustache boy because of the roof in the front. Like, it just... It's an interesting looking place. Uh, it's also a wannabe blue suburban, I've referred to it as. So um, it's like a blue suburban mansion, which you would think is my dream, but upon further inspection, we discovered that it is not actually my dream. This isn't the worst build in Del Sol Valley, but it's definitely not the best. What is the best build in Del Sol Valley? I don't even know. I kind of don't hate the gym that much. And I'm also like kind of okay with Orca to go-go. But otherwise, like at least the shape of it, the inside's kind of boring. But like the other builds, like the houses in Del Sol Valley, bleh, they're a little bit gross, I'm not gonna lie. But it's fine. This house actually belongs to Judith Ward, everyone's favorite sim. I have in the past compared her to Nancy Landgrab. I'm not sure who I like better, 
Judith or Nancy. I think that my loyalties still lie with Nancy Landgrab. I can't necessarily switch over to Judith like that. I'm not going to just sit here and abandon Nancy Landgrab like that. Like, I would never. But I do think that there probably is a strong rivalry between the two, Nancy and Judith. I don't think they would get along very well, personally. Which, you know, I don't even blame them. Like, I kind of hate Judith as well, and I also kind of hate Nancy. So let me know in the comments down below. Oh my god, I'm gonna put a poll. Wait, I'm putting a poll. There's a poll? I have never used the poll feature on YouTube. If you see the little I that just popped up, there's a poll. I want you to vote in it. Who's better, Judith or Nancy? Let me know in the comments, and also click and vote in the poll, because this is kind of exciting. We're doing real research right now, you guys. We're uncovering the real truth. <laughs> That's so gross. I'm sorry. I'm excited now, though. That's gonna be fun. Okay. So anyway, I think that I don't know for sure who I side with. Although I do believe that Nancy Landgrab is maybe a better person than Judith. Like, she lives here alone because she keeps divorcing her husband. That's in her bio because she's too good for them all, which, like, it's kind of a mood. Like, I relate a little bit. You know, me and all of my um, husbands that I'm too good for and whatnot. Uh, and so... <laughs> Hmm, what does that mean, Kayla? <laughs> hmm, anyway, I just, I like her. I like the idea of her. I like how she struts around, but also Nancy Landgraf is the most iconic sim of all time. I have a story about Nancy Landgraf, actually, which I may have told on the internet before. I don't recall, but one time when I was in high school, you know, the good old days, uh, <laughs> oh boy, I think that maybe good old days is a strong word, but I was like a freshman or sophomore in high school and I had just started playing The Sims 4. It had like just come out kind of. Um, and I had this friend, we're gonna call her Susan. It was not Susan, it was just a friend of mine. And I used to watch, by the way, a lot of Sims Let's Plays. Like I still kind of do, but I think it's more justified now because I make YouTube content for it. But like, we're all out here. Like I was a Sims stan, still am, always will be. And so I, really enjoyed The Sims at the time. Still do, always will. But like, you know, I was kind of a new Sims 4 sim because it had just come out. So it was like fresh and new and fun and exciting. And my friend barely ever played Sims. She was like one of those like fake simmers that like had The Sims 4, but like only ever touched it like once every three months. And then was like, yeah, I play The Sims, but like, do you? Do you really, Susan? I don't think so. I'm a real simmer, you're not, you know? And so, <laughs> oh God, sorry. I'm just bitter about this situation still. So. But she was over at my house and we were playing Sims on my laptop. We were kind of just like messing around and we went into the game. And so we had like made a Sim. We were going to go build a house, like cause some problems as one does with their friends, you know? And so we made the Sim and we were like just sitting there, like I think just like starting up the gameplay at this point. And then Nancy Landgrab walked by and I was like, it's Nancy. And the girl really tried to shame me for knowing Nancy's name. She was like, how do you know the Sims names? How do you know all of them? That's so weird. And I was like, it's it's not weird. It's just Nancy Landgrab. She's a base game sim. Also at the time we probably only had a base game and like outdoor retreat that were out. But like, it's a base game sim. There aren't that many of them. I know every townie's name. What do you mean? And so I was pretty upset about that. Honestly, I haven't let it go. But like that was the first time I was ever shamed in person for being a sim stan. Because most of my friends, um, either were Sims stands, and so they knew. Shout out Kylie and Natalie one time. Uh, <laughs> and the rest of my other friends um, didn't know I was a Sims stan. So like there was never like any shaming that happened when I was in high school about the Sims in particular. I get shamed now near daily for streaming Sims on Twitch because it turns out that gamer boys don't like Sims people. Like they don't like the idea that you stream Sims and like do okay on Twitch. They like want to play Fortnite and Fortnite is the only real game. If you're a real gamer, you play Fortnite. So like, anyway, I get shamed now for being a Sim stan, but like back then I wasn't. I was ju I was just an innocent little child and I got mocked for knowing Nancy Landgrab's name. I can't believe that Nancy Landgrab ruined my life. Honestly, I'm kind of upset about it and I won't I'm I'm not over it yet. But it's fine. Um evidently it's not fine cuz I'm still complaining about it. Hmm. Is Lil Simsy okay? I'm not sure. But that was a long time ago. I hadn't thought about that in a long time. And then I mentioned Nancy Landgrab being worse than Judith Ward. And all of a sudden I like had this war flashback. This is terrible. Although I just said that Nancy was worse than, oh wait. Did I say she was worse than Judith Ward? I think I meant to say she was better, but I said she was worse. Does that mean that I think that Nancy Landgrab is worse than Judith Ward? Do you think that the fact that Nancy Landgrab ruined my life means that we have bonded together? Or that she ruined my life and I should hate her? I don't know how to feel about Nancy Landgrab. I don't... Also, she disowned Johnny Zest, and that's kind of mean. So, like, I don't know. 
she kind of sucks, but then again, Judith kind of sucks too. She like snubs people. Like that's not cool. So like the debate continues. I also think it's not fair because Nancy has like this unfair advantage of having existed for a long time. Like the land grab name definitely gives her an advantage because that's been around forever and she's a base game townie. Like we have loved or hated, depending. We have known Nancy for a long time. Whereas Judith is so new, she's so fresh. I was gonna call her fun, but I don't know if that's a word I wanna use for her. She's definitely something. Her hair is interesting. I did just do a townie makeover of her the other day. I posted it, I think, on Monday. I'll link it down below if you wanna check it out. I used a bunch of CC and like made over Judith. It was kind of fun and kind of exciting. Oh my God, speaking of CC, I have terrible news for you all. You know the, the Tumblr blog that I use all the time, Lana CC finds? to get all my custom content. She like reblogs everything ever and she's like the most amazing directory of Sims 4 CC and also Sims 3 and Sims 2 CC. Her blog is getting shut down because when Tumblr, got, so here's the thing. Tumblr is updating their guidelines and stuff so that there's no NSFW content allowed on the site. Cause there's a lot of like sometimes icky stuff on there, which is a subculture of Tumblr. And that's, you know, what happens on the internet and stuff. But a lot of Sims blogs, Lana CC finds included, get marked as NSFW and having adult content because sometimes CC skins will like have nude Sims to show like the skin details and stuff. And so stuff like that happens. And then the blog gets marked as being like adult content. And then the blog, in this case, literally gets taken down. So Lana CC finds is going to die. And I'm very upset and concerned about this because I get everything from that blog. Like I don't follow many, I don't, I don't follow any blogs on Tumblr. I only just go to her blog and reblog things. So basically I know I deleted my CC in the past and I have since, um, put it back in my game because I, you know, sometimes you just have a little freak out and, you know, maybe cut your hair off, dye your hair off, delete your mods folder, you know, as some people do. But my, my mods are back in my game now. But I think that once Lana CC finds dies, my mods folder might die. I might just take this and be like, okay, this is it. We, like we're, there's nowhere else to get CC. That's just not true. There are so many other places to get CC, but I'm just gonna be like, all right, well, this is the end for us. So see you on the other side, I guess. But the thing is, I don't even know if I like using CC that much. Like there are some CC items that I like, like some pairs of CC jeans and stuff that I'm into. But like the majority of the time, I prefer to only use in-game content. There is some makeup that I like. Like I probably should just like cave and only keep like the makeup and jeans that I use because I don't really need any other custom content. Like they're adding so much to the game. I just need my seat, well, my CC skins, my makeup, <laughs> a couple pairs of jeans, um, and that maybe some like child and toddler hairs because we're seriously lacking in that department. But otherwise, like I don't really use that much custom content. This is a constant struggle for me. I am always struggling with this. Like I never know, do I want CC? Do I not want CC? I can never win either. Anyway, the build, let's go back to this for a second because I have cut out actually a lot of it. This video took me like, I have three and a half hours of recording, but I did stream it for six hours. I didn't record a bunch of it. Like a lot of the landscaping I just didn't record because I was like, okay, the video is gonna be very long. Is it worth recording the entire thing? Cause like, I'm not gonna post a 50 minute long speed build, you know? And so the video was like 37 minutes before I cut it down. I cut it down to 2250. So it's a little bit shorter. I cut out a lot of stuff like me deleting all the walls and me like sometimes refurnishing some things, a lot of the landscaping and the, some of the, like the basement's all gone. I have a whole butler basement because I imagine she would have, like Judith Ward has a butler, obviously. So there's a butler basement downstairs and it's got like a laundry room. Does it have a laundry room? I think so. It's got like a laundry room, it has a vault, it has like a butler's little kitchen quarters and stuff. So it's a very fun house to play in, <laughs> sort of. And there's like a walk-in closet for Judith. It's kind of exciting, but a lot of the furnishing downstairs I kept the same. I know it looks kind of empty, but it was sort of intentional because I like the idea of these big like open marble hallways and like this sort of house, I like the idea of you walking in and it like being kind of echoey. Like I want, it, I want you to walk into this build and like, 
hear like the footsteps echoing through the entire place because I think that Judith she's got like her pretty little heels on she walks through the house and she loves to hear herself walking through that house like you know the echoes of her heels you know what I'm talking about anyone who's ever worn heels you know exactly what I'm talking about or even just like clicky shoes in general you know what I mean it's satisfying she likes it she has big open marble hallways just for that purpose <laughs> she likes to strut around okay let her have that I don't know I just sometimes when you have this much money you just you have some big open spaces and that's okay. You pay this much money to have this much space in Del Sol Valley because let's be honest for a second, California is really expensive. And this is her way of showing off that she can afford a lot of land by having big empty marble hallways. I kind of like that. And also the upstairs has two bedrooms. I imagine, here's the tea. I think that she refuses to share a bedroom with her husband. Whenever she's married, she's like, you, you're not sleeping in the same bed as me. Boys are gross, they have cooties. And so she puts them in like the husband's suite. So there's like a master, like his and hers, like full bedrooms and stuff, which I think is kind of fun. Like, I love that for her. Um, <laughs> I also have this theory that like, she has had a lot of husbands in her day, but they're always like hold her back. So she like divorces them because, you know, let's get this bread. You know what I mean? I'm sorry. I don't know why I said that. That was really gross. I hate myself, but that's nothing new. You can hate me too if you want. Hate comments down below, please. For me, not Judith or Nancy, just me. <laughs> Okay, anyway, um, I also feel like she's cheated on her husband with the pool boy, like, many times, and the butler, like, she just, you know, morals do not exist in this household. Once you get this rich and this famous, like, there is no consequence, you know, she can do whatever she wants, and I respect that, I think. Maybe I don't respect that, that's the wrong word to choose. I don't, I don't, it, respect isn't correct. I, I do, um, appreciate the fact that Judith will get what she wants, you know? And that's good. That's the goal, okay? <laughs> oh my gosh. I also like the idea of a pool boy existing because obviously, like, pool boys don't exist in The Sims, but, like, I like the idea of her cheating with the pool boy specifically. Specifically. I don't really know. Oh, God. My friends do that, and it bothers me so much, and I just did it out loud. I hate myself right now. Guys, I'm sorry. I think that this is the moment that I decided to quit YouTube. I think the fact that I just said that out loud to you, I just said two questionable things. This is, it's time to go. It's time to stop. These Simsies must be stopped. Remember when rice gum was a thing? Oh my God, these kids must be stopped. Remember when rice gum, I think he's still doing really well for himself, but I don't really feel like looking into it because I don't want to think about rice gum. But like, remember when rice gum was like huge? You know, I met him, well, met is a strong word. I didn't meet him. Once I was in this like lounge at VidCon and Rice Gum was in that room. And by the way, the man has a posse at all times. Like he had like 10 people following him when he walked into this lounge at VidCon. And the thing is, so Steph and I had a friend who like brought us into this lounge. Like we didn't have like feature creator badges, obviously. Like I'm not gonna get feature creator at VidCon. I'm just a, a very small Simsy, like let's be honest. But her friend did and so he brought us back there. Um, and so we were in the lounge, but we didn't, we obviously didn't have the right badges, so they could, like, very visibly see we didn't belong there. But, like, we, we got in, because we had, like, wristbands that the, they had given us, because we had this friend. It's a long story, but anyway, like, if you only saw our badge, you'd be like, why is that person here? You are not famous or cool like us, you know? So, like, like, Liza Koshi walked into this room, okay? Let's be real for a second. But, like, we weren't doing it. We were just talking to our friend, like, we weren't you know, we're, we don't speak to these people. Like, we're normal humans. Don't worry. But, like, Rice Gun kept, like, I mean, I say kept. It happened, like, twice. But he, like, looked over, and I, like, I got a look from Rice Gun, like, a what are you doing here look from Rice Gun. Like, I made eye contact with Rice Gun once, okay? I was in the same room as him. He had, like, some musically girl with him. I think, like, was her name Lauren Gray? I don't remember. But, like, she was part of his posse. They all had, like, expensive looking clothes on. You know, the kind that, like, are expensive, but aren't, like, they don't look expensive. You know what I'm talking about? Like, you, you know what I'm talking about. Okay. Anyway, rice gum. Cool guy. Gave me a dirty look once. <laughs> Love that. That's, like, my only ever, like, celebrity encounter story of all time is the fact that rice gum gave me a dirty look once. And also, I was in the same room as Liza Koshi. Wait, now I miss VidCon and my friend Steph. Uh, if you guys don't know Steph o Sims, I'm gonna plug her for a second. I don't think she needs plug because, like, you probably all know who she is. She's a big deal. But, like, she has been making some very amazing YouTube content recently. Like, Steph o Sims is changing the game as far as Sims content goes. Like, she's a she's good. She's very talented. And 
and makes me feel bad about myself constantly because like her content compared to mine, I'm out here flopping. Oh, granted we make different stuff. Like she makes like very well edited intentional videos and I make daily stuff. So like it's different. Our intentions are different behind these things. And um, you know, we really are out here, my friends. But either way, I love Steph Sims. She's linked down below. If you haven't seen her content, please look it up because I j don't look it up. Click the link. Anyway, <laughs> speaking of things to plug, my, my dear friends and also my merch. Hi, I made merch. <laughs> you should you should click that link too. I have Christmas stuff, like holiday themed things. Also, I have like some regular stuff. A lot of it just straight up has my face on it. Like, I'm not even kidding. It's just a picture of my face. That stuff's kind of a joke, but there is some nice stuff that I made and I think that you'll like it. There's this one hoodie that says yikes on it that I really like. Uh, I think you should check that one out in particular. Also, there's this merch. It was part of my Christmas merch last year. Uh, it, it's what I like to call a Christmas cactus, but we probably should use the word holiday cactus. <laughs> but it's last year it was just like full on printed across the front of the sweatshirt, but I made it like small and like in the corner, like where you have like a, a logo for something. I don't know, but it's, it's a cactus. It's actually like a cactus and like a little pot with a bow and my face is in it. It's hard to explain. It's really cute. I and then there's like this little elfy thing where it's like me as an elf with like a, a present and like a cat. It sounds really, it's but it's cute, okay? Like you should look at it. <laughs> I don't mean to plug it this much, but like, listen, we're doing a holiday merch run, okay? Like Christmas is coming. It's Hanukkah. Like let's, come on kids, let's get this bread. Ew, oh God. I. Honestly, have never said that phrase out loud before today, and now I've said it three times. Twice in this video and once on stream, and I hate myself. Like, I don't even know who I am anymore. I'm, like, falling for all these terrible, terrible jokes, and I just, I'm so embarrassed, and I'm ashamed. And like I said, I, I think I have to quit YouTube now. Because, like, I can't go on like this. If I'm gonna be acting like this, Lil Simsy has changed, my friends. YouTube changed her. It's not cute. Also guys, tiny update. I'm gonna take an exam right after this video records. So like, yikes to that one. And also tiny update, I only have two exams left. Like I have the one I'm taking tonight and then I have an exam on Thursday and then I'm done with the semester, which is very reassuring. Oh my God, you have no idea how stressed I have been the past few months. Maybe you do have an idea because I complain about it a lot, but like I have been losing my mind and I'm very excited to like, stop losing my mind for a second, you know, and like take a little break. I mean, I have to pre-record for some trips. I'm going to London and I'm also going to Chicago to see my family for Christmas. So I have a few things to do. I've just got like a couple weeks for the videos to make, but that's not as bad as the schoolwork. Like finals week compared to pre-recording is nothing, you know? Um, that sounds, wait, no, pre-recording compared to finals week is nothing. I mean, it depends in what way you're talking because pre-recording kind of sucks a lot and takes a lot longer than finals week does. But finals week is scarier because there's more consequence. <laughs> like I have less threat of consequence from my videos. Like that's my, oh, like any consequence from me messing up an upload is all coming from me. But like if I mess up a final, that's bad. Like that's, that's like real consequence. Although to be fair, I, I'm lying right now. I am so terrified of messing up uploads or like missing uploads because like the pressure of like all these thousands of people online that are gonna be like waiting for it or watching it and stuff, that that gets to you sometimes, you know? And so <laughs> maybe I'm making that up. I think that maybe the pressure of, of that is more than the schoolwork. It just depends. It's all, you know, we take these things day by day. Also submitted my last paper yesterday. That was very fun and very fresh to get the paper done. Thank God. Uh, so we're, we're almost there. That class is just done. That class was only papers. There was never any testing or anything. It was just a lot of writing because history majors are just, it's writing and reading team. And you know what? That's not a bad thing, but like, oh my God, it's so much work and so much, but not necessarily in a bad way. Um, I should clarify that I, I like what I do. It's just sometimes when you write essays analyzing books called Sovereignty and Revolution in the Iberian Atlantic. It's just not that exciting, but you know, that's fine too. It's not that bad. It could be worse. I'm fine. I say this as I'm like shaking <laughs> quite literally. Oh my God. But I got an A on that paper. So, hey, nice work team. We did it. We're done. I think not till we reflect or anything, but I, I might get straight A's this semester. Obviously I have to wait for my, my paper to get graded, my research paper for one of my classes, but I think I might get straight A's this semester, which is kind of wild. I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of fun and kind of fresh because I've been so stressed. It's like a very good 
uh, it's it's reassuring to know that I at least did something right because I have been like not sleeping and like doing all this work and it's it's reassuring to have like a physical reminder like hey you actually you did that Kayla you're doing okay like <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to explain but I think you can understand like it's it's a good reassurance I mean and I'll stop talking I just weird flexed a bunch to you guys I'm kind of a tiny genius I'm not gonna lie but <laughs> But I have a, an exam in my Spanish class, an exam in my Women of American History class, and both of those are webcam proctor, which is not fun. Oh my god. I've The Spanish ones, I have them a lot because they're like quizzes we have that are webcam proctored. Because this way you can't cheat on like an online exam, but you have to have your webcam on and it, it records you taking the exam and you like look over sometimes and you see your face and you're like, ah, like I, I don't want to see myself taking a test. Oh my god. You can hide it. Like you can hide it so you can't see it yourself, but like it's just right there. Like, you're just sitting here, you know, writing your Spanish mini essay thing, and all of a sudden, there's your face looking dead inside, and you're like, oh god, that's what I look like right now? <laughs> I, just, I like the idea of the teacher having to, like, look through that, too, and make sure you didn't cheat. Like, the idea of, like, watching back these videos of these students up close, taking exams, taking finals, being so stressed. Yikes. Anyway, shout out to professors and teachers right now. You, I mean, also to any students during finals week, you're killing it. I know it's stressful and you're overwhelmed, but you're, you're almost there. Like, this week, next week, maybe, and then you're done. Like, you're so close. You're so close. The light, you can see it at the end of the tunnel. Okay, on that note though, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off right here, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I've had fun. I feel good getting these things off my chest, you know? But make sure to go ahead and leave a like and comment and subscribe and do all those fun YouTube things. And in case you guys didn't know, I post new videos every single day. And so I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye everybody. Again, my thoughts are with all of you who are taking finals this week. I, that we really are out here, team, but like, we're fine. We're almost there. We're so close. <laughs>